What is up producers? In this video, I'm gonna use Ableton Live Lite to show you how you can fly a hook or copy a hook from one part of a track to another. Coming up. Welcome back, my name is Jack. Thanks for tuning in to another video. If you're new here, it's my goal to help creative music makers like you make better music at home. Like I said in the intro, this video is all about flying a hook or basically taking a hook from one part of a track and moving it later in the track to a different part and making sure it lines up just as well in all of that. So I wanna do a special shout out to Dayston Keaton for recommending this video. Like I always say, if there's a video topic you want me to cover or something you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to make a video on it. But before I get into it, please do me a solid favor and hit subscribe with the bell notifications on to stay up to date when I go live or on any new videos that I have coming up. But without further ado, let's get into Ableton Live Lite. All right, so here we are inside of Ableton Live. I'm using Ableton Live Suite, but everything I show you will work in Live Lite, Live Standard, Live Intro, all the different versions of Ableton Live, so don't worry about that. For the subject matter, we're going to be using an upcoming track from Jay Machiavelli. It's called Now. I did some production work on this track as well as mixing and mastering. And we're going to be working with the vocal tracking session. And this song is going to be coming out next month. And so I'm excited to show a little bit of it in the session today just to kind of demonstrate what we're talking about with flying the hook. So I already have my second hook in here, but for the example of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. And the first thing I really, really recommend is making sure that your session and your track are all synced up nicely to the grid. If they're not synced up to the grid, it makes this way harder. And I will show you how you can do it if it's not synced up to the grid. But if you haven't synced up your track to the grid and you don't know how to do that, click up at the top right hand corner of your screen. I'll put a link there for a video that I just put out showing you how exactly to do that because trust me, if you do that first and make a habit of doing that every single session, your life is going to be so much easier and your workflow will be so much faster. So moving forward, assuming that your session is connected to the grid, all you want to do is find the start of the hook that you already have in the track. So I'm gonna to listen to how the bass changes as well as the double kick that comes in before the downbeat. And I'm gonna visually remember what that looks like as well as audibly so that I can find that for the next chorus. From there, we're just gonna go over here. We'll use the end of the second verse as a marker. And we know that somewhere around here that next chorus is gonna come in. So based on that, we're gonna guess that it's right about here. So I'll go ahead and put a marker in called hook two. I'll go back here and I'll put a marker in for hook one as well. Now it's super simple. Since we are linked to the grid, all we need to do is make a selection. And I like to do it a little bit before the hook and a little bit after the hook. But you do want to remember how much space you do select because that's going to determine where you're pasting it for the next hook. So right here we did one bar in front of the marker. I'm going to go ahead and hit Command C or you can right click and hit Copy. We're going to slide on over without changing the zoom to hook two. One bar ahead, hit Command V, and look at that. Everything should line up real nice. Let's take a listen. And we'll compare it to the first one. Love lost could be another love found. Either way, I don't want to look now. I know things might be different somehow. So there you have it, provided you took the time to set your session tempo correctly and sync up the beat and the vocals, copying and pasting or flying the hook to a later part in the track is super easy, super simple, and you can do it really, really quickly. But like I said earlier, what if you didn't have your session tempo synced up? Can you still fly the hook? Yes, you can. It's going to be a little harder though, but let's check it out. All right, so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and right click and make sure that the grid is off. This is basically going to put it into something like slip mode for all you Pro Tools familiar users. But from there, what you want to do is zoom in on the start of that first hook and we're gonna look up on the beat here you can see there's a little bump right here and if I zoom in all the way you can see the actual dot here for the sample I'm gonna try to get this as close to the center there as possible and then right click add locator and we'll just make sure this is lined up in the center of that sample and we'll zoom out there's that little hump now we're gonna to go to that next hook which we know is going to be after the second verse. It's going to be right about here. We'll zoom in. Here's our little hump. If we look right to the beginning of it, it's going to be right about 
here. So we'll right click, add a locator, and then we'll drag it to the center of that sample marker and pull it back. Now what you want to do is zoom in, make a selection up to that marker, and hold down shift and click the marker right there, hit command C, zoom out, go to the second hook marker, zoom all the way in as far as I can, make that selection as close to that line as possible, hit command V, and zoom out and let's take a listen. The love found either way I don't wanna look now I know things might be different somehow But we can't let that affect us now Alright, now let's move over to our flown second chorus I love, but either way it's got me right in the I know things might be different somehow And there you have it. So as you can see, even if you're in slip mode and you don't have your track or your vocals synced up to your grid, you can still fly the hook. I would still recommend taking the time at the beginning of every session to make sure your session tempo lines up with the music because being able to use the grid just benefits you in every way when it comes to production and it's a skill that is super important to use and something that will drastically speed up your workflow. If you like the track, be sure to go in the description and pre-save the song, which will be out on all streaming services very soon, as well as follow Jamie Machiavelli to stay up to date on all of his music and releases. Well, that's all for this one, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found value in it, please head down to the comments. Let me know what you liked, what you thought of the video. And as always, if there's something else you'd like to see, let me know in the comments and I'll get to that video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I wouldn't be here without your support. So I do appreciate you and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next upload. Peace.